All right, I want to do a really quick video. I'm doing a speaker fitment, and I got the big battery that I pulled out of my power pack to check for clearances behind the magnets on the two woofers. These are the ones I'm going to go with right here. These are the IX series. I got them loosely mounted with four screws, and I got the tweeters mounted and the port in there. So let's take the lid off, and I'll show you the inside. show you the clearance okay see the back of the magnet and the woofer look how close that is now this is a Dakota lithium big 54 amp hour battery that I had in my power pack it might be too big and <laughs> I'm not having the clearance this is where I screwed up you see this front firing port I wish I would have moved this up another inch or so to about right there and that way it would have cleared the top of that battery because I've got another flange I could put on there a little bit longer make it go back here and off that way but this battery look at that you know if, if I'm ever going to have um, have to put bigger series woofers in this thing it will, it will not fit with this battery in there the problem is, I'm going to have an amplifier mounted against right there. I'm going to have an amplifier mounted right here. So I have two amplifiers, right? And then all the interconnections and stuff in there. The uh, EQ will sit right up here, which should clear just fine with 90 degree elbows on the bottoms there. But um, The only problem is if I put the 23 amp hour Dakota lithium battery in there, it only can deliver 24 amps continuous. And that might be pushing the limit if I'm running two amplifiers. Uh, so 12 amps per amplifier is not going to give you a whole heck of a lot of power, but I'm, I'm not sure. You just have to kind of wing it and you know go with the flow here. I like the idea of having a big battery in there, and it just fits behind there. But um, you know, you won't have—I won't have any problem powering the two amplifiers with this battery at all, at all. So there you have it. <laughs> Thankfully, it's a big box, and working with bigger boxes compared to the smaller ones is a lot easier to work with but uh, bigger problems I think too <laughs> all right hopefully next week I'll get more parts in and I'll give you a better update on this box